Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft Java video. Today we're going to be taking a look at a mod pack which I have put together and it's finally released on the CurseForge website and this mod pack is called Boosted FPS. I know a lot of you have been having some problems with getting good performance in your Minecraft Java game and on the latest release of Minecraft Java Edition version 1.17.1 I do know that there has been some performance based issues and some of you have been getting low frame rates, low FPS FPS in your game and you have been asking me how to get higher FPS in your game so I have actually gone ahead and made this mod pack for you guys hopefully it should help in increasing your FPS in your game and give you a better performance in the game so as you guys can see on the top left corner there it does come with a FPS counter and what I've done is I've put together a list of mods that improve the performance in your Minecraft Java game for version 1.17.1 and all of these mods are available from the CurseForge website and I've made sure that when you install this mod pack they are enabled. I've also done a few tweaks as well in the settings as well so as you guys can see at the moment we are getting close to 1200 FPS on my system so hopefully any of you guys who are getting less than 30 FPS I'm hoping that this mod pack will basically help you guys get more than 30 FPS on your system. So what I'll do today, I'll show you guys how to actually install this mod pack and get everything set up. And then I'm going to show you guys how to change some of the tweaks in this as well, because it is heavily tweaked to give you a lot of FPS. So for those of you who are getting more than 60 FPS, I'll show you guys how to change the tweaks and increase some settings if you guys do end up getting a lot of FPS due to the settings that this mod pack does offer. So if we go into our game menu and click on this button here, which is gonna show us all of the mods that are installed, you can see that I have put together some of the well-known mods that give us good performance. So we've got Sodium here, we've got Sodium Extra, we've also got Mod Menu, we've got Lithium, Lazy DFU, Krypton, concrete we've got iris as well so you can actually use shaders with this as well we've got the fps display mod there as well and it's also got some of the culling fabric mods as well i've also got the loading screen which i'll show you a bit more about that later on and obviously it does have the apis and dependencies that are required i've also put the better biome blend and better beds in this as well and anti-ghost so hopefully with all of these mods in the collection it should give you a high performance boost when you load up this game so let me go ahead and show you guys how to actually get this installed on your minecraft java edition version 1.17.1 all right so there's actually several ways you can install this mod pack and one of the main ways to install it is actually to download the curseforge launcher client this is the desktop application and you can just download it and install the mod pack through that you can use other mod packs as well so for today's example i'm going to show you gd launcher which is another one of my favorite launchers for minecraft and i'll show you how to download the mod pack from the curseforge website and import it into gd launcher so let me first of all show you guys how to actually download the mod pack within the CurseForge client. I have done a video about how to install the CurseForge client and how to set it up, which I will leave a link in the description below. And I will leave a link in the description for all of the downloads that I'm going to show you guys today. So let's open up the CurseForge client and wait for that to load up. Alright, so once it loads you up into the CurseForge client, you will see this screen and it's really simple how to actually install the mod pack. All you need to do is in the search bar here where it says search for mod packs, just type in the channel name. So you type in Gamer Potion, it's all one word, Gamer Potion, and hit enter and it will show you the mod packs which I have made and submitted to CurseForge. So you can see that it says Dark RPG, Gamer Potion, and the mod pack which I'm showing you guys today is called Boosted FPS. So you can go ahead and install all of these if you want to try them out, but for today we're going to go ahead and install Boosted FPS. So I'm going to click on the install button here, it will start the download and it will start downloading and installing all of the mods within this mod pack so let's wait for that to finish up all right so once it finishes downloading and installing all of the mods for this mod pack we can actually go back into the main section where it says my mod packs and it will say boosted fps here and all you need to do now is just click on play and it will launch the game it will launch the main default vanilla launcher first of all and once you see this Minecraft launcher, which some of you might be familiar with it because this is the default launcher, you will notice that it does say boosted FPS in the bottom drop down here. And all you need to do is just click on play and it should launch the game. 
and you guys will notice that I have actually gone ahead and changed the loading screen there. So as you guys saw, it was a green loading screen. So that relates to the, one of the mods which I have installed and changed the colors in that. So as you guys can see, it's now loaded us into the game using the boosted FPS mod pack. And I can click on this little button here and we can see all of the mods that are installed within the mod pack. Okay, let me close this down and I'm going to show you guys how to download and install the boosted FPS mod pack using the CurseForge website and how to import it into another Minecraft launcher such as GD Launcher. All right, so in the description below, I will leave a link to the CurseForge website where you can download the boosted FPS mod pack from. And as you guys can see, this is the link where you can download my mod pack from. And it says here, boosted FPS. And if we just scroll down, we can have a look a little bit about the information. I have put some configuration instructions here. So when you guys do install it, you can actually read up about this, how to change a few settings in the game and increase stuff like the draw distance and fog settings as well. So now if we click on files over here and if we click on the boosted FPS zip file link here, you will then see a download link appear. And then all we need to do is just click on the download link here, which should start the download. And once the download finishes, we can then import the file. So let's wait for that to finish. It is a quick install. It's only 11 kilobytes. As you guys can see, it's a very small file. I'm going to place this file on my desktop and I'll show you how to install it using GD Launcher. All right, so as you guys can see, I have placed the boosted FPS zip file on my desktop here. And now we can actually open up another launcher, which is GD Launcher. So let's open up GD Launcher. If you guys are interested in using GD Launcher or checking it out, make sure that you do check out my video where I show you how to set everything up and how to actually import the mod pack. So it, it is a detailed video, so do make sure that you guys do check out that video. Again, link is in the description. Okay, so once the GD Launcher does load up, all you need to do is just click on the plus button here and it will say add new instance and we need to click on import zip and then I'm going to browse. I'm going to select my desktop. I'm going to select the boosted FPS zip file and I'm going to click on the arrow key here to proceed. It's going to say boosted FPS. I'm going to click the arrow key again. It's going to start the download and it's going to install it as you guys can see. So let's wait for the files to get downloaded and installed and I'll be right back. All right, so once it finishes installing all of the mods, it will come up with this. It will say boosted FPS. And all you need to do now is just click on the icon here. It should say play, and it will actually directly launch the game. So as you guys can see, it is waiting to launch the game. It won't actually show you the default vanilla Minecraft launcher, which the Curse Forge launcher does show you. So it will go straight into the game as you are seeing right now. And hopefully it will load up the mod pack. And as you guys can see, there is a button here which we can click on and it's going to show you all of the mods similar to how I showed you earlier so we do know that the mod pack is working we can then actually go into the game I'm going to allow cheats and I want to create a new world so I can show you some of the settings and how to tweak them so if you guys are getting very high FPS more than 60 and you find the settings a bit annoying or you don't like them you want to increase the draw distance and I'll show you guys how to do that so let's go back into the game as you guys can see, I have turned down the draw distance, so you can't see that much far ahead. I've also enabled fog, so hopefully we should be getting some nice FPS. You do have to give it a few seconds for the game to actually load up and configure with the sodium installed. And on the top left there, we can see I'm, I am getting close to 1200 FPS. Now, any of you guys, if you are getting more than 60 FPS, so for example, if you're getting 70 or 80 FPS, because of all the settings which I have lowered, the first thing you're going to want to do is go into your options, click on video settings, and you will see that this bit looks different. And this is because of the sodium and sodium extra mod, which we do have installed. The next thing we're going to do is click on render, and where it says fog, you'll want to change that to zero. And after changing fog to zero, it's going to use the vanilla fog settings. So click on apply and click on close. Now, the fog settings are basically using the render chunk distance to control it. So it is using the vanilla settings for the fog. The next thing we're going to do now is actually increase the render distance. So in the general section, you can see that I have set the render distance to two. And the reason for that is, as you guys can see, it says performance impact is high. And this is what basically affects our performance in the game. And all we now need to do is actually increase the render distance. So I'm going to change it to eight. And I think eight is a nice 
render distance to have because you can actually see a bit more far ahead and it's not going to impact your FPS that much. So if you guys are getting 60 or higher, then you can actually change your render distance from 2 to 8 and it should allow you to increase the draw distance and also get rid of the fog. So you should be able to see further ahead, basically. And this is only for if you guys are getting more than 60 FPS. If you're only getting less than 60 FPS, I would recommend that you just keep the settings like that because that is actually gonna help you get more FPS in your game. Okay, so once you've played around with the render distance, you can actually go ahead and increase it depending on your system or decrease it. So let's keep it on eight. The next setting we're gonna actually enable is the animations because I have turned those off as well. So you can go ahead and enable the animations click on apply and then check out your distance as well so as you guys can see it has dropped a bit but i have actually gone ahead and increased my animations as well the next thing i'm going to do also is click on the particles i'm also going to enable the particles in the game so you're going to get all of the rain splash smoke water explosions all that sort of particles in the game so i have gone ahead and enabled that by default it is disabled we can then click on details and you can go ahead and start enabling the rain and snow biome colors and sky colors as well click on apply and click on close so as you guys can see the fps has dropped a bit there but again this is only for if you guys are getting more than 60 fps can go ahead and start enabling all of those settings and see how it affects your fps if you guys are noticing that it's dropping the fps then definitely keep those settings off you can also go back into the video settings and you can enable all of these other things as well which have been turned off so you can have a look at the settings and the render option here or the extras for the advanced menu here leave everything as it is because these are already selected to give you good performance so leave these already ticked as they are in the quality section you can go in there as well you can change all of the graphic settings to fancy if you wanted to do that so basically just go through all of these settings and bit by bit one by one start increasing your settings and see how it performs and tweak it to the best setting where you can actually get 60 or more fps without losing too much quality or losing too much performance in your game but hopefully this should help you guys increase your fps in your game for some of you it might not be guaranteed that you will get a high fps in your game because sodium might not work that well or some of the mods might not perform that well with your computer hardware if this mod pack does not work for you do let me know in the comment section below and tell me what fps you did get with this mod pack it would be interesting to know and i can work on that and see if i can actually help you you guys get more fps in your game one thing to also note is that this only comes with all of the mods that are available on the curse forge website i haven't actually included any of the other experimental performance mods that you would see so if you guys do know any other mods which you do like to use that do help you guys increase performance in game but you haven't seen it on the list you are free to actually manually add those mods into your game and i'll quickly show you how to manually add the mods into your game if you do wish to do so these mods are only the ones that are officially released on the curse forge website and are compatible with the version 1.17.1 so let's go back into the main menu let me close this down now if you are in gd launcher all you need to do is right click on the button here click on open folder and then you will notice there is a mods folder here go into this mods folder and you can actually download additional mods from the website and place them in here making sure that they are for the latest version 1.17.1 and then you can actually play the game that way you can actually go back into the curse forge launcher as well and similar to how i just showed you we're going to right click on the icon and we're going to go into view folder so i'm going to right click on the icon here and click on open folder again i'm going to go into the mods folder here and you can place mods into this folder and you can start playing as well so if you guys do have any mods which you do like to use you can actually go ahead and add them to this as well you can actually add mods via the curse forge client or gd launch as well and for that you just right click on this click on view profile and you need to click these three dots over here, click on profile option, and you're gonna click this bit here, which says allow content management for this profile. 
click on done and now I can actually go ahead click on mods add more content and I can actually install more mods into this so if you guys do have any other mods that you do like to use you can start adding mods into this and see how the performance is on your computer system so for example I can go ahead and actually install Zero's minimap and let's go ahead and do that now and I can just click on play and hopefully it should basically have the Zero's minimap show up as well so let's wait for the launch to load up now. I'm going to click on play and now let's wait for the game to load up. All right, so as you guys can see, it has loaded up the game now. It's going to come up with this message for Zero's Minimap. So just click on don't show these again for these updates and then I'm going to maximize that. Let's go into a new game and see how it looks like with the mod. All right, so as you guys can see, it has loaded up the Zero's Minimap mod there on the top left there and we have lost a few fps due to the mod so just bear that in mind that if you are adding more mods to the boosted fps mod pack you might see a performance drop due to the mods we can obviously move the mini map around because it is interfering with the fps display counter there so go into the game menu click on the button here for mod menu and then go down to zero's mini map and then click this button here to configure it click on change position and i'm going to select the preset for the top right corner there and I'm going to confirm it and there we go so we can see we have the FPS count on the top left there and the minimap on the top right there and obviously you can go ahead and just add additional mods to the boosted FPS mod pack hopefully you guys have found this video useful and hopefully this mod pack will allow you to get more FPS in your Minecraft game if you do have any problems or questions on how to install it or how to configure it do leave them in the comment section below if you did enjoy the video do give it a like as well and please do subscribe to this channel to help support to help it grow and I'll see you guys next time thank you for watching